Welcome back to Prince of Persia, the Two Thrones. We're not wasting any time. We're just going in. That's how you make that. We're closing in on the second boss fight. Should we save here? I guess. Should I continue from here when you return? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just just to be safe. Make a save to be safe. Especially in, in a time like this. 2005 PlayStation 2 era, there wasn't such a big thing with auto saving so make sure to save manually yourself just to be sure are you all right he has escaped and you what of the troops dead all dead but i saw the vizier or whatever it is he's become he flew towards the palace then we know where to go all right but i seem to be well stuck could you find a way to open this door? I understand the principles of courtesy, but I think you take things a bit too far. No, I don't. I'm just a simp. I can't help it. I can't change who I am. This section could be annoying. Because of the way the enemies are are positioned and there's these new guys oh it's just want to take them both at the same time don't risk taking one to be seen by the other there's no point pick a sword Move this. The other side is a bit more complicated. What the fuck is he doing? Later on, there's a new enemy type that takes more. It takes like five hits with the speed kill. So you would think, is it, isn't it? It wouldn't be faster to just fight him normally, but no. There he is. That guy on the right side. That's what I'm talking about. What I'd like to do is just learn the pattern. And since those two don't seem to move, you are going to move forward. Okay, I've never done this. This is a new glitch. It's exactly five, five hits. And he saw me. Well, that's the guy that moves around, so... You know, even even with that, we managed... We, we dealt with it accordingly. But I was not supposed to go up there. Still somehow managed to get this guy. He takes five hits on the speed kill. And if you kill him... You can't kill the guy that moves here because the other guys will see it. They don't move. So you take this guy out because he takes longer. Then you try to get this guy because you can't get the other guy. That guy is usually always last. There's no way to get him. You just hope that he doesn't see you and you can speed kill him as well. If not, you're just going to have one-on-one -on -one fight. 
It's not gonna be such a big deal. There's more guys here, but these two you can just double kill. Shouldn't be a problem. Wait for them to come back, both with their backs towards you. Just jump them. Simple as that. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Wait for him to turn around. Now. I guess even if he's face towards him, it still works. Oh well. We open the door, she's gonna drop a thing for us to put in the button so we can move through the door ourselves. Thank you, Prince. Of course. The problem is, now I am trapped. Just like a woman. Solving her problem creates a new one for you. Allow me to Exactly. Yeah, I saw it before you did. I mean, when I was up there, you the prince safe. Go on then. Could have probably Through his sword and still cut it. And I, I don't think we had a sword at that point. Yeah, that might have been the case. I don't remember. I really don't. Farah is all right. You are spending way too much time looking after the girl. Is this necessary? You sound upset. Are you jealous? Just focus on getting to the palace. Get in there. I, I really don't like this. This this animation can get you fucking in trouble. You'll get caught. You dangle off and they see you. And your speed kill gets ruined. It's really just unfortunate timing. It is what it is though. Okay, that was a little that was a little early. Okay, uh, it takes a little bit more thinking. No enemies spawned yet, but there you are. Keep your voice down. There are enemies below. Okay, but see if you can do something about these crates. I cannot get past them. Do you understand now? This is the sort of thing that slows us down. Take care of this guy when he's all alone like that before the other guy comes back then you climb the ladder so they don't see you and they did oh that's just unfortunate that I really didn't you're certainly taking your time getting back to the palace I was just a little slow whoops 
and it fucked me over. Now this one is a lot more difficult. At best, you want to take the red guy out first. Because he spawns in more enemies. So your ultimate goal would be to take him out first. Because without him, there's not much that they can do. So it only have to fight those guys. The thing is you don't want to be seen, right? So I don't want to jump now and they're facing facing me. If they see you, the red guy will immediately go to spawn enemies from the circle. Like that's his thing. See now I can try. And jump it without getting seen which is what you would want so you will move around you will get here hmm how are we gonna go about this? There's no way to take the, the guy under the beam and then somehow hide back up. That that's not that's not working out. Unless you can wall hop back to the beam. You want to take the the red guy, the red guy first. Or you want to take this guy before they see you, and then jump to the red guy immediately while he's turned around. Because they stay like that for a while, and just have that guy left for last, because he's the last one to turn around. So that might be your best bet and then try to climb on these again and not get seen yeah I got seen but I took care of that guy These guys can't call anyone. Okay, that that breaks your guard. Good to know. But it kind of worked out. Take the red guy out so you can save your save yourself the headache. Of having more guys spawned in and get your fucking ass raped. I wonder. Can we clear this? I wanna try something. Nah. You're not you're not you're not jumping you're not jumping back there. There there's no way. Oh there is a way actually. The thing is when he's dead if they turn around and they see that he's dead are they gonna immediately notice you like that's what I'm what I'm trying to figure out now that's that's inhuman jumping of course I can see the palace from here make your way to me that only happens in scenes like that so it all works out in the end.
Okay, that one that one moves quite quite fast. You wouldn't want to risk it, so just Let's do the slow motion. Play it safe. Don't be dumb. Returned. Did you hear that? If you know what is good for you, say no. Farah, we must press on. I am sure she will be all right. Are you mad? She was begging for her life. She said there were others. No, we can afford no more delays. Good. Put her in her place. These are your people. You are their prince, and yet you would leave them to suffer? That man has taken everything from me. And now that I have the opportunity to punish him, you want to delay me? Have you forgotten what he did to you? But I... You are burdened by a guilty conscience, Farah. He made you watch as your people suffered, unable to aid them. You are not to blame. Do not let it cloud your judgment. It is not I who suffers from clouded judgment. You may choose not to help them, but you cannot stop me. I go to kill the vizier to end this, while you run about applying bandages to axe wounds. Good riddance. She has been nothing but a distraction, always getting into trouble and slowing us down. Finally, we can... What? Something could happen to her. I cannot lose her again. No, no, no! You're so close! It'd be so anticlimactic to, you know. Um. Mara? Where have you gone off to? So she had reached the prince. He feared. Whoops. Shall I continue my good? This is a fine place to start the. Wouldn't it be nice if we just continued forward and we killed the vizier and that was the game? Somehow I feel that would have been a pretty good choice. It'd be a pretty short game, but it for her safety. Even if it was just one person, at least now he thought of someone other than himself. Is that it? Okay, we don't want to get seen. Clip through the wall and we get him. That was weird. You all saw it, and as soon as you see these, you know you're turning into the prince. Just simple as that. You know it, I know it. So I guess there's still time before the second boss fight. I think that is the only boss fight that you fight as the Dark Prince, the ugly lady we called her when we were younger. I cannot let Farah see me like this. Worried she will prefer the new you? Not exactly sure why though. Why do we call her that? Oh shit. Yeah, they can interrupt you, but you can cancel them as well. Any more gonna spawn? Nope. Okay. Better luck this time. Yeah, this is where you fight, I think. No. Is this necessary? There was a fountain yes. before her. You're sure. That you turn. Yes. Fine. Waste your valuable time rescuing the princess. I can only imagine what the vizier is doing right now. Probably expecting.
expanding his army, torturing innocent citizens, deciding what kingdom to conquer next. What he should be doing is dying. I have not forgotten my mission. And some new more. Some more new enemy types. Hide behind a wall. Use your long range to get these fuckers. They can't interrupt you. They can't stop your animations. I think. I think no one else is going to come. Whoops. So is it this side? There's something that I don't remember correctly. What is it though? What the fuck am I not remembering? There it is. And he jumped in the wrong direction. Oh my fucking god. Ugh. <sighs> I remember that there was a fountain before her and just before you get to her you turn into the dark prince and when you get her that's when Farah sees you You don't want that to happen. I forgot that he was there. I really did. I really expected quite a bit more from you. I mean, you were so focused, so dedicated, so selfish. Nonsense. You were simply trying to protect what was yours. Where's the harm in that? Look around. All of this destruction is my doing. Oh shit. Somehow fucking did it. What the f Fuck was that? It's fucking bad. I'm not planning on getting seen. It just happened. Fuck it. And if you don't know, every time he transforms, the the yellow sign or whatever it is becomes bigger. Sing through a brothel while your city falls apart. That's not what I call heroic. I am here for Pharaoh. You're not here. You're here for you. She made you feel guilty and you hope to prove her wrong. Okay, that was a quick death. Your reasons for Didn't calculate it. Selfless. You do not know my motives and you do not know me. I am you. And the sooner you realize it, the better. He's kind of right. <laughs> I 
I have thought about what you said, and you are right. I... There she is. Can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation? If you really do desire death, kindly wait your turn. I have killed most of the guards. It should be safe. Go and find the women. Free them. I will deal with her. Now, this is the ugly lady. Wonderful work. You return to save Farah and then send her back into the thick of it while you run after this one. My hero! You know as well as I do that the brothel is no longer dangerous. But if I do not kill that sand monster, she will pose a threat to Farah. And now we're immediately going to turn back to the Dark Prince again. Because you need the chains to move around. She's not a hard boss, actually. You just slow down time and kick her fucking ass. Actually, you don't immediately turn to a Dark Prince. You fight her a little bit. Your life gets... Uh, her life gets a little low. And she kicks you and you turn out of nowhere into the Dark Prince again. Halfway through the fight. And then Farah comes back to check on you and she sees you. And it's, you know, story purpose time. So, we're going to end this video here. I want to thank everyone who stopped by. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you stay up to date with new videos. If you want to support me, you can donate. Become a member of the channel. And with that said, I hope I catch you all in the next video.